Oh my gosh. Welcome to the Schaefer Trail. <laughs> Today we're on one of the most classic trails through Canyonlands National Park, the Schaefer Trail. Moab, Utah. Moab is one of my favorite places. I've been coming here almost 30 years. Moab is an outdoor mecca loaded with something for anyone who wants to get outside and play. So we're going to start this adventure off of Highway 191 and Potash Road and we're going to go along the famed Wall Street along the Colorado River eventually turning to the right and going uphill all the way up into Canyonlands National Park. This is a really nice gravel road, but it is really washboarded. And by airing down, I'm gonna have a lot smoother ride. And you're not gonna feel like it's rattling my cabinets off the walls back there. Okay, this looks like as good a place as any to air down. All right, so this time I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take it down to 30. That's kind of my standard for just dirt road driving. That should be pretty good. That's 30, right where I want it. I love these BFG KO2 tires. They have the tin fly sidewall. It makes me feel really good airing these down, knowing that I won't get any punctures in my sidewall, at least not very easily. And I've had these tires. I've been running these things on my Toyotas and geez, for the last 30 years, I've been running these tires and they just, they're so great. these evaporation ponds and they're getting salt out of this water but it makes for this really eerie kind of turquoisey blue water that really pops against the red rock here it's kind of bizarre and toxic looking and kind of really neat all at the same time and it's kind of neat getting to enter a national park through its uh, quote-unquote back door now I'm on the BLM section that's between the uh, mine and the national park. And gosh, I mean, this shows how long ago it was I was, I was over here, but I used to build a camp up in here. Now there's a sign that says no camping on this whole stretch through Schaefer Basin. So that's kind of a bummer, but so be it.
boy, here we are right on a cliff on the edge of the Colorado River. I feel like I could do a swan dive, just go straight off this point and land right in the river. It's kind of funny back here so far, the vehicle of choice is either a Jeep or a Subaru Outback. Seeing tons of Subarus back here, which actually, you know, other than for the tires, I think from what I've seen so far, they would do fine. Um, it is really rocky in places, so Gosh, if you had a set of BFGs on a Outback, you'd probably cruise through here pretty well. Go Subarus. Oh yes, <laughs> this is so cool. We are literally um, just paralleling the Colorado River here. Nothing really parallel about it, but we are going along the rim of it and it is so cool. And you can see my van is parked right there, right on the very edge. Oh, it's beautiful back here. What a cool trip. Schaefer Trail, you aren't letting me down. Thank you. There's the entrance to Canyonlands. No more flying the drone, but boy, that was fun. All right, we're in Canyonlands National Park. This is cool. We're kind of leaving the river here now. Ah, uh, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm here at the Schaefer Campground. Gosh, I wished I had a reservation for tonight. It just started to rain. I hope that does not make our climb up the Schaefer Trail dangerous or impassable. I can see the Schaefer Trail though, and oh my gosh, it looks like it goes straight up the cliff. What an impressive piece of road to build. I can't believe somebody dug this in the side of a cliff. The Schaefer Trail does wash out every so often. I know a couple years ago I was gonna come and do this, and it was, geez, I think it was washed out for like eight months they had to rebuild it after a big rain. All right, we're at the junction of White Rim Road and Potash Road. This is where if we took a left, we would go on the White Rim Trail, which I've done that in the past, not in a van, I've done it on a, on a motorcycle. And oh my gosh, what a trip. You guys should all find a way to go do that. Um, but today I'm gonna hang a right and we're gonna go up the Schaefer Trail, up the switchbacks, Wish me luck, it is sprinkling a little bit. And so far, I'm the only sprinter van I've seen back here. Where are you guys? Why aren't you on the Schaefer Trail? My van's doing great so far, no complaints. I haven't even put it in four wheel drive. Only thing I have done is aired down the tires. I've got them right now at 35 in the back, 30 in the front. And that definitely smooths the ride out a bit. But this is a this is a great tour. All right, here we go. We are starting up the switchbacks of the Schaefer Trail. We're on the first incline here. So far, so good. It's gonna get a little airy though. We're gonna be on some little catwalky kind of ledges that they've built this road into the side of the mountain. Here's a sign. Caution, steep, narrow road ahead. The road surface is good. It's definitely narrow. There's not a lot of places where you would pass another car. It definitely gives you that edge of the world feeling up here. Some of the switchbacks are fairly steep. Like I'm having to gun it pretty good and um, getting a little bit of tire slip. But so far, so good. This is going great. I have yet to see another car coming the other direction. That's gonna be the biggest fear, I think, on this is just passing someone else. I'm trying to really look ahead when I'm at one of these corners 
and see if I can see any oncoming traffic because the corners are kind of the widest place. They're also the steepest. So a little tip when you're going around these corners, no matter which side of the road, which, way, which direction you're going and which way the turn is, try to swing it wide to the outside. That's the least steep way. That's gonna do the least trail damage, you know, than trying to crank up the really steep inside part of it. Here we go, here's one of these tight ones. No problem. I am not seeing any traffic yet, which is great. I was hoping I wouldn't run into anybody, and I shouldn't say that yet, because that'll definitely curse me. I think I'm gonna have to pull out over here for a picture real quick. It is a good wide pull out, people can pass. I am gonna set my safety brake. All right, let's see, let's see what it looks like. You can see the rim right there, that is the top. Oh my gosh. Welcome to the Schaefer Trail. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Looks like I just have maybe one more switch back, maybe two, and I'm to the top. Really, other than it being really narrow and a huge drop off, it's not that bad. So <laughs> come prepared and prepare to have fun. What an awesome place to bring your adventure van. Potash Road to the Schaefer Trail, a Moab classic. It took me about half a day. I was stopping and taking pictures a lot, so I'm sure you could do it a lot faster if you just went straight through. But what fun is that? It is beautiful back here. Make sure you hang out and enjoy it, because this is phenomenal. We were at the top, totally fine in a Rebel van, in a four x four Sprinter van, no problem. But I just can't get enough of this view. This is incredible, this is beautiful. Um, what a great drive, I'm just stoked. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button, it means a lot. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I hope to see you guys somewhere over the horizon. Peter Holcomb signing out from the Schaefer Trail. See you next time.